Hello, I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. We've released Android 11, bringing a ton of new capabilities, including conversation notifications, device and media controls, one-time permissions, enhanced 5G support, IME transitions, and so much more. We added new tooling for you, like compatibility toggles, ADB incremental installs, App Exit Reasons API, Data Access Auditing API, Kotlin nullability annotations, and many others. There's lots more over in the post, and make sure to take a look at our wrap-up of hashtag 11 weeks of Android, which covers these features and more in detail. We launched Android Jetpack Data Store, a replacement for Android shared preferences. Built on Kotlin coroutines and flow, Data Store provides two different implementations, Proto Data Store, which lets you store typed objects backed by protocol buffers, and Preferences Data Store, which stores key value pairs. Data is stored asynchronously, consistently, and transactionally, overcoming most of the drawbacks of shared preferences. Check out the post for more details. We launched the beta release of Chrome 86, improving focus highlighting and adding the WebHID API, along with new origin trials, such as cross-screen window placement, battery savings, and secure payment confirmation. It also enables native file system by default from the previous origin trials. Check out the post for all the rest of the updates. We announced the beta of API Gateway, a fully managed Google Cloud offering that lets you create, secure, and monitor APIs for your serverless workloads. It packages multiple services into APIs accessed through a single interface, simplifying adding additional layers of security, such as authentication and key validation, as well as allowing you to set quotas and specify usage limits. Head on over to the post to learn more about API Gateway. In our confidential computing portfolio, we announced the upcoming beta of confidential Google Kubernetes Engine nodes as part of the GKE 1.18 release, as well as the general availability of confidential VMs. Confidential computing enables private, encrypted services by keeping data encrypted in memory and elsewhere outside the CPU while it is being processed. To learn more about how to process data in the cloud while preserving confidentiality and privacy, check out the post. The Google Cloud documentation now allows you to interactively replace placeholder variables in line before you even copy the snippet. So when you paste the text into your editor or into the command line, the values are already set. If a page has multiple code samples with the same placeholder variable, such as project underscore ID, you only need to replace the variable once. Read the post for more info and look for the interactive code samples throughout Google Cloud documentation. We introduced the business application platform. Building on Google's cloud investments in Apigee API management and AppSheet no-code application development. With the beta release of API Gateway, the general availability of Apigee data source for AppSheet, and the early access release of AppSheet automation. For more details, head on over to the post. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Make sure to take a look at a wrap-up of Hashtag 11 Weeks of Android to cover these in more detail.